second and third place man Harry Everts in second place Andre Malher third waiting now for Harkon Carlquist to flash into sight through those trees there he comes on the Yamaha a masterful performance from Carlquist he's led this race from start to finish he loves Farley Castle and strangely enough this is the very first time that uh, Carlquist and this is the battle between uh, Graham Noyce and uh, Andre Romans that's a scrap for fifth and sixth place Noyce up into fifth place at the moment Andre Romans is in sixth spot and Jack Van Veldhoven seventh who is the oldest man in the race at about 35 years old so number four That's yeah. Van Velt over his past noise and they're attacking the hill together. There's Romans, number two. 46 Van Veldhoven. Four is Noise. Noise has moved ahead back of Van Veldhoven. It's a real ding dong scrap between these men. They know points are at stake. I would think Graham is really gnashing his teeth now uh, after the two crashes and dicing with Van Veldhoven, who's notoriously a difficult man to pass. Well, two bad mistakes for Graham Noyce. That, Andre Romans, in sixth place. So that puts Noyce seventh. Van Veldhoven there in eighth place. trees now. Romans and Noyce and Van Velto. That's still the scrap between the Romans. Number two, Noyce, number four, and uh, Jack Van Velto with number 46. The battle down the leaderboard as uh, Harry Everts comes through and he's starting his last lap now. has gone through and would you believe it the gap has stretched to seven and a half seconds so Harry Everts has found some extra pace from somewhere and it looks as though Harkon Carlquist the man who is out on his final lap is going to move back into the lead in the world championship battle before this race he trailed Malherb by three points if he can win and if Malherb stays in third spot he will go ahead by two points I would think Malherbe's made a mistake on that last lap, and now I would say he's going to settle for third place to be sure of ten points. So with that's the battle between Romans, Graham Noyce, and Jack Van Veldhoven. Noyce, as we say, obviously kicking himself for those mistakes early on. Graham Noyce, the British boy who lies third in the World Championship battle at the moment. 40-odd points. And Van Veldhoven again just nibbling away there at uh, Noyce's rear wheel. Van Veldhoven will never give up. And the tail end of that's number 20, Patrick Fuhrer from France on the Husqvarna. A bit of a gentleman moves over to let this battle go through. Van Veldhoven tries a different line to Noyce. He's on the outside, but Noyce will have the advantage. Still 6th, 7th and 8th place they're fighting for. This is Harkin Carlquist, and he's got time to wait to the crowd. Well, that's confidence for you, but he's got every reason to be delighted with himself. Harkin Carlquist, just the last few hundred yards of his race, on his last lap, the chequered flag is ready for Carlquist. Harkin Carlquist again takes the hand off. He must be really pleased with himself. And this victory could well mean that Carlquist goes through to take the championship lead. He comes past the crowd at Grandstand. The crowd cheer round the final left-hander. The chequered flag goes out. A big wheelie from Harkin Carlquist. A wave of victory V. Harkin Carlquist.
from Sweden, rider number eight on the factory Yamaha, wins this first leg of the British Motocross Grand Prix here at Farley Castle. And we are waiting now to see whether Harry Everts can hold on to second place, and he can because he's got about 200 yards advantage. And Harry Everts, number 12, on the Suzuki, takes second place. So it's Carl Quinn. Horsepower, class four craft, set out on the first stage to Ramsgate, where